I am done with the Glazers Manchester United. That's all I've got to say on the matter. No, I've said I've said this. One thing, one thing, one thing, KJ. Sorry, let me just say. I feel I felt like Terry was in my my Snapchat group chat. I said exactly word for word, literally before I come on the stream to my cousins, exactly word for word what you said. As long as these two guys or the, these guys are in charge, the Glazers and the Woodwards, until I see structural change at Manchester United, I have no expectations. Mm -hmm. None. We got Newcastle coming up. We might win. We might lose. We got PSG. We got Chelsea, yeah. Arsenal, Leipzig. We might win. We might lose. If we lose them all, Solskjaer will be sacked. A new manager will come in. We won't get top four. He'll be back. We'll get top four. He'll be sacked. A new manager will come in. I have no expectations of we're going on a good run. Then we go on a bad run. Then we go on a good run. Then we go on a bad run. I have no oh, expectations man. anymore. Man United, no, I'll back you lot. But you got that's, nothing you know, left. You know what? I've got nothing Boy, left. If you don't that's, that's what I'm saying, man. That's, what, the I'm saying. Like, that's what I'm saying. Like, got nothing left. I've been saying... I've got nothing left. We have, you know, it's true though. We ain't got nothing left, bro. We ain't got no. nothing left. It's a funeral. That, look, literally, literally, it's a telly baby. This is a funeral, bro. Like, I've seen the club that I grew up watching go from being one of the best teams in England to slowly, slowly die into the state that it is now. You can see that the people in charge don't care about being the best anymore. They just care about money, which ironically, if you win in football, you get more of. So it makes no sense. <laughs> like we have to I said today I've said it to guys in the group chat I've said it to guys that I talked to I've said we need to change our uh, expectations we are now a normal club we're not a big club anymore we're just a normal yeah. club <laughs> and we need I'm I'm on the normal Vibes club. FC thing oh, hey, hey, I'm on Vibes FC fam Vibes FC if we do it the Ajax style you know what I'm saying give the youth a chance develop them man hopefully <laughs> something could happen yeah. and you know what the Avengers are still formed. Uh, the right now, but How the great that's, what, right and, and, and that's what, what I care about. Guys, and on what KJ's <laughs> saying, it's it, it's true here because I still want my team to win every game. I'm not I, I don't want us to lose to put a point home. I still love Rashford, I still love Martial, I still want Pogba to become the best version of himself he can be. It won't change how I feel in a in a I'm still gonna get nervous. I'm still gonna enjoy that that. That that sort of thing. I'm still going to enjoy that sort of thing. There's no doubt about it. Uh, what whatsoever. I, I'm I'm still legitimately going to enjoy all that element of Man United. What I'm simply removing, first of all, any financial commitment to them, to a point where my wall in this studio is going to have nothing Man United based on it at all. It's done. I'm not spending another penny on the club. Done. And I'm not going to have any expectations of winning anything. I can't allow myself to think, oh, this can happen. I can't allow myself to see. By the way. The Telus and the, and, and the Donny van der Beek deals are prime examples. They are two pieces of phenomenal transfer business. But I'm not allowing it to spike any kind of expectation in me that we're on a new road because I've been burnt before. I feel like what I've done is I've taken back Cats later for the third or fourth time. And uh, Alfie Moon must feel like yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, Alfie that's Moon. it. That's Alfie Moon. Moon. I'm Alfie Moon, bro. <laughs> taking cats I'm a slap. Cat back. <laughs> Every time I take a back, he sleeps with next man. Yeah. That's what she's oh. doing. I am Alfie Moon. <laughs> I have been burnt to smithereens by Man United, but I keep taking them back. Thinking, oh, you're going to do it. It's going to be okay this time. We've got the kids. We've got the twins. We've got, we've got <laughs> the kids that you had with my cousin, but it's okay. I look after <laughs> you know what she does? She gets drunk, she goes out, and then she's up against the side of the Queen Vic. And this time, it's Ian Bill. Ian Bill. How low it's gone. Ian Bill's now banging my missus. Do you get what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm dead out bad. here, bruv. Dead out here. I, that's oh my God. Uniques, where's your black shirt, fam? Our, our club's just died, fam. Put your black I'm, waiting, I'm, waiting, I'm waiting till 11 p.m. That's the official. Oh, no, yo, listen. Also, <laughs> also, all the people you're listening, the Avengers, the Avengers pop is still here to stay. You <sighs> guys, I forget. Yo, listen, listen. Yo, you do that, yeah. But listen, I'm supporting my team. Yeah, I gas my team yeah. the way I gas them. You just slapped them off for about 20 minutes. <laughs> no, 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 I, no, I slapped you know, off the club, man. That's club. two different things. A club. A club. You've got nothing left. Yeah, again. <laughs> You need to sort out your head top. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Yo, man, 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 looking like SpongeBob's house, fam. Like, oh, <laughs> no, <laughs> baby. No, but yeah, I'm supporting like, them the way that I want to support my team, and, and that's just calling the Avengers. It's give it, give it, give it, give it. Do you know what, guys? Yeah, Blood. Terry, make a wish. Terry, you know what? Yeah, I would say, yeah, I don't think Ollie's gonna get sacked because. Yes. Wait, let me tell you this. Not right now because he's been somewhat outdone by Klopp losing 7-1. It's like every time it goes bad for Man United, something papers over it. So when Man United lost Crystal Palace, it was overshadowed by Chelsea losing, you know, the 200 million pound team to losing to Liverpool. When you lot lost 6-1, overshadowed by the champions Liverpool losing 7-1. And it just seems like they Listen, seem to survive. I, I mentioned our October run. We got Newcastle, PSG, Chelsea, Leipzig, oh, Chelsea. Arsenal. I don't know, but oh, Chelsea. Chelsea's, probably the easiest, Chelsea's probably the easiest one there. But the rest of the games, the rest of the games, <laughs> like if Solskjaer comes out, <laughs> if Solskjaer comes out of that run, and it's very feasible without any wins, I'm coming. Well, well, I'm Jem, all I've got to say is it's ASM. Joe Linton. <laughs> no, we'll, we'll put the uh, we'll put the nail in the coffin. Don't worry, man. You know yeah, what? Right. Um, the thing about him, if they get rid of Ollie, here's the thing. Remember that Woodward has always been a fan of Pochettino. He loves Pochettino, and he no, he, he will get. AJ, 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 I've got a problem with that. I've got a problem with that because Woodward Poch don't know what he's doing. Woodward doesn't know what he's doing. So if he's got if he likes Pochettino, he probably likes Pochettino for all the wrong reasons. And that's a problem already because the guy. I know. Yeah. What's it, KJ and Neeks? Well, the Glazers want is yes men. When if they get rid of Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, all uh, they want is yes men who comply with the Glazers. Rome here, our resident Tottenham fan says, if Poch goes to Man United, this will be the worst heartbreak as a Spurs fan, even um, worse than losing the Champions League. So one what? question to, to the rivals here. I'm going to go to Monster first on this. If Poch comes into Man United, say tomorrow, just say he does. Could he improve our fortunes here? Uh, I think he'll do better than Oli because, and you, you know, it is. You do you not remember Poch took Liverpool, to, uh, Tottenham to the Champions League final without any signings in it? So I think that's what that's probably what, what they're trying to do. But in the overall, let's say if they if it continues like this, overall, let's say a season or two seasons later, well, you're gonna have the same problems, and it's just gonna keep happening over and over and over again. Nothing's gonna change. It's clear. I you know me, I'm a big Mourinho supporter. I love Mourinho. I didn't think he was a problem, I thought it was the players. Because even if you had Sir Alex Ferguson in this day and time, he would have probably had the same problems at Man United with the players. That's why I just feel like <laughs> Managers is not to blame. I know you lot might not like him as much, but I don't think Mourinho was a problem. I just think it was just... No, he was. This was okay. He wasn't the problem. He, he wasn't the problem, but he was part of the problem. Which he, no, so he, he, no he, Mourinho became a problem because of the bigger problems at the mm -hmm. club. Remember the first year or so at the club, man was flying. What are you talking about? Him and Pogba, it was a love story. But tell me, what, is, what, is, what did Mourinho do that Ferguson didn't with the likes of Beckham and all those guys? Well, first and foremost, Ferguson had a relationship with those players before you can then... And you build a relationship with the players and your squad. So if you, if you call out, say, a person, they know that you're doing it out of the goodness of or, or for the well-being of the squad as opposed to your own personal ego. Mourinho didn't build a relationship with those players that he then threw under the bus. Um, obviously, he's not there at the same time. But if you, if you look at the Beckham thing, Fergie brought him up. Like He came through the academy and he's come through with a bunch of them. And then 10 years later, they've fallen out. But mm. Fergie, it's a, Fergie's built a different relationship. It's not... Yeah, it's, you can't just compare one. And and also, you know, when I say he's part of the problem, it's like what happened at Chelsea at the end. Wh whatever the reasons for it in 2015, he lost the dressing room. Therefore, he had to go. And if a manager loses a dressing room, then... He, he can't put that all on the player. He must have... Everyone has to look at some of the, the blame. Mourinho lost the dressing room at Man United, so he has to look at himself, and the players have to look at themselves. That's that's why I say he, he was part of the problem. Also, Monster, you're comparing the times different as well. You can't compare the Beckhams and the Giggs and the Skulls to the Pogba's, Martial's, the, all these... Because it's a different time of football. Soft. You, you, soft. You, you, yeah, the, it was soft. It's a soft youth. The, the soft youth were soft people now. We're softer people. We can't take criticism as much as the people in the past could. And Jose, he 
when he was managing, when he was on his way up, were used to a certain kind of man, certain kind of player. And he tried to bring that into this modern time. And during his stint at United, that just didn't work. He didn't rub off. And what happened is he, he was asking for those kind of players. And as much as as much as I, did, I disagreed with the players that he wanted and they wanted to get rid of, the club still said no. You know what I'm saying? If you're not going to back your manager, you're going to sack him. The club still said no. He didn't get what he wanted. Therefore, he then became uh, disgruntled and unhappy. And then he lashed out onto the players. And this is where I say Jose had his part of the issue. I'm not saying that he, um, everything was perfect and Jose was, was the only issue. The board didn't give him what he wanted. And therefore, his reaction to that is what I did not agree with. And that's why I'd say he deserved to get sacked. There's nothing wrong with not being bad. And, and this is this is why it's the way you handle that. Like Ali's handled it as best he could. But this, it's the way you handle that and take it forward. And then also the players, you gotta you look at the players, how they reacted, how they treated their manager. There's so much stuff that is involved in that whole time with Jose that you can't just say he wasn't the problem. Like he was all part of it. And but the main so issue involved. is, and mm. whoever will be, do the want, board and Woodward. Do you want to see some real big issues at Man United as well? We've said farewell to Chris Smalling. Chris Smalling was at Man United 10 years. Wow. That's the problem. That's that, and that's what Man United fans are talking about. And, and it's not until often you, you actually see these things as rivals. When a man like Chris Smalling is at your club 10 years, Phil Jones has been here for 10 years. <laughs> <laughs> Phil you Jones. Know, per Pereira, Lingard, all these guys have been kept at the club too long. It's all these little things that just chip away. Or oh, Everton are in advance talks um, for Roma what? keeper Robin Olsen. 